Today is December 31st of 2016. A new year is about to start just tomorrow. And 2016 has been a great year. I started blogging and I travel all around. So instead of telling you what happened, I thought it would be better if I show you. So I make this video. So 2016, I started blogging. I went to a modeling casting with many Russian girls. I somehow ended up doing a catwalk for a big model agent. For Dragon Ball Festival, I went to do Janza with the community center, but later we delivered and donated for charity to the elderly people. They were really happy, as soon as they have never met a foreigner before. Then I took my baby out to a crocodile sanctuary. We pet the crocs, take some pictures with the crocs, and even feed them. Then I took Asia for the first time to Kulanyu Island. She rides the ship for the first time as well. We went to visit the aquarium. Then we sit tight and waited like nearly an hour for the show to start. After five minutes, she lion come out and a big storm break out, cancel the show. We still get to enjoy the aquarium. As it turned out, Asia was a sensation in Kulanyu. Everybody wanted to take a picture with her. But actually like pretty much every time she go out it's like this. I went to the first Pink Dot event in China, which is kind of like a gay parade, but people just wearing pink shirts. It was fun. I went to Shanghai Hooters. I seen the happy birthday to my good friend Mati. And then we went to have a barbecue at the band, right next to the rental bar. That's Argentina barbecue, by the way. We went with Ash and Cindy to a fashion show. Ash as usual, the cutest. There were lots of people and a lot of designers, brand designers. Of course, lots of models were Chinese and foreigners. But what the press was really interested about, it was my catwalk. Believe it or not, I received an standing ovation after this. I ride my motorcycle in the countryside. It was awesome. I get to learn a lot about China. I mean, real China. I went to Shanto and I visited the world's biggest toy factory. The person who invited me there allowed me to take as many toys as I can fit in the car. By the way, the car he prepared for me was a Mercedes-Benz limousine with TV and minibar. The car was pretty awesome, so I wanted to take it for a test ride. Man, two Germans know how to build cars. That was a really fine machine. Of course, I was very happy when she saw all the toys. But there was one toy was actually for me. I got a drone. So since I got a drone, I decided to do a video review of a drone. Within 30 seconds of flying it, well, I crashed into a tree. But it's okay, don't worry. I managed to get it back. Then we went into our first family road trip. We went on vacation to Kuyang. We watched one of the most spectacular shows with performance from more than 50 different nationalities. They have all kinds of performers, trapezes, daredevils, even divers. Check that crazy guy. Well, she's still alive, don't worry. Then they have this show that I don't even know how to call it, but it was pretty impressive. They may have animal shows, Asia's favorite, and that is Lipan, one of the greatest musicians I ever met. He gave us backstage passes to go see the animals. We visited the tigers, the sea lions, and then he took us shopping. At the shopping mall, Asia got to feed some llamas. It was a pretty fancy shopping mall. Looks like we were in Europe. And Asia get to make some friends. Well, at least she saw she did. And then Lipan had her band rehearsal in his living room. It's pretty cool, like a garage band. But better say it's a living room band. Then we went to a 
crazy water park in China that doesn't close at a night. It's like all the time open. They have live band and a fake beach and huge slides and rides and it's pretty impressive. Then I went to the China Open ATP presented by Mercedes Benz. I get to go inside the courts, see all the shows, all the tennis player. I even went to the super exclusive Mercedes Benz VIP lounge. Wait, they have free drinks and free food. I get to enjoy the semi-finals from there. Then I perform for Mercedes Benz, in which I get to do the show for all top 20 tennis players in the world. That's the Biffa right there. Right there. And all of my shows got broadcasted to many different countries. That's Milos Raonic and Dominika Chublikova. Then I fly a lot. I went to Shicho Chuan. I visit Hopi Museum. I get to learn a lot about China and Chinese culture. I went to the Butterfly Museum. I also learned a lot about butterflies. Shicho Chuan seems a little bit strange for me. They plant the trees in the middle of the road and not in the park. But actually in the park they have these people doing some kind of like a strange exercise. I got interviewed for Hobby TV and I celebrated one year anniversary with a biggest motorcycle club in Hobby. Girl seems to like it. Then I went to a race drum. When I get to race some of the drums on a drone circuit. These drones are very, very fast. Uh oh, I crashed. Then my good friend Jason took me to see the office where they developed drones. We get to see all kinds of drones. Then I went to Xinjiang. I visit Xinjiang Old Street. I went to some funky temple in there and I learned about Chinese candy. I watched some Daredevil shows. Now, those bikers are not afraid of anything. On the way back to Xiamen, Maranti the Fung had destroyed everything on his way. More than 70% of the trees were knocked down. We ended up with no water or electricity for nearly three days. Aisha was happy so, she get to wear her new boots for her first time and play on the water. But most people were not that happy. They have no electricity, which means they all need to run to the shopping mall to plug their phones there. It was total chaos. Then I went to Quichou in Quiyang and ate some traditional food. Then we got prepared for Asia's first Halloween party. She was a little scared at the beginning, but she ended up liking it. I traveled to Beijing where I make friends everywhere. I went to the Lama Temple. Then I rented a bike and I went to the Russian market. They have some pretty strange stuff in there. Kind of like dangerous stuff. I went to Anis, my favorite restaurant in China. Then I went to San Litun Bar Street. I got offered some hookers. And I have a 50 RMB Sunday. I dance in Kuyang, in Beijing with acrobats. Even in North China, I teach some sexy moves to the girls. Dance with the Hutter girls in Shanghai. I dance with some sexy Cuban girls to the rhythm of the Latin band. Oh, Macarena. I dance as a black bear. I dance with Asia. I even dance with the Red Army. And I dance with the elderly right by the Changsha River. I went to a millionaire's party on Shanghai with Marco and my good friend Mati. 
debut was spectacular. I went to Hong Kong, I have a very fancy Mac McDonald's burger. Then I visited my good friend Giovanni in Harping. He took me sightseeing and then back to his restaurant where I get to enjoy as much beer as I wanted and food, German food, for free. One of the best beer I ever had. I met George in Changsha, a fellow blogger from France. We watched the street performers. Then we went to some very traditional Chinese restaurant where we get to eat Mao's favorite food. Then CCTV Spanish did a full length documentary about my life, which got broadcasted to many Spanish speaking countries. I went to Nanchang in Antong and watched the skyline. It was beautiful. Then on my way to Shanghai, I ran into a crazy angry mob that nearly tried to hijack an airplane. But Shanghai was cool. I get to see some dinosaurs. I saw the Batmobile. And with my friend Matt, we went to eat in Superheroes DC Comics restaurant. From there, we went to like Shanghai Old Street, where they get some very interesting kind of food. I met Matt. He's a really cool blogger from America. He lives in Nimpo with his wife, baby. At the time, his mom was visiting. She's really cool as well. Play the Arhu. Then he introduced me to his strike and his plans to go around the world with it. We fly the drones and then I get to try the trike. It was very comfy. Then we run over a Chinese guy on his bicycle. Ah, it's kind of like a long story. We went to Laiwan Town, Bar Street, and we get to party right there on the streets. And then we fly the drone some more. I bought my own drone. Then I bought another one. As it turned out, I really love aerial filmography and photography. Then I got hired to perform at an international cruise. And I get to enjoy everything about the cruise. I went swimming. I went to the VIP lounge. I eat and drink as much as I want for free. And I get to meet the captain. Play ping pong. That was a theater where I work. And that was the director. Really cool guy. Then we turned the people from the crew. We went to second hand market in Kagoshima. I nearly bought a bazooka. I went Pokemon hunting in Kagoshima and I catch Pikachu. I went to Nagasaki and visited the Peace Park. I was received there like a total superstar. That's the water fountain of peace. And that is the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum. It kind of looks like something else, doesn't it? I eat sushi in Japan. I ride the bus in Korea, went to Chechu Island, and I got lost twice in one day. And then I start flirting with the Korean female police. I nearly got arrested. People is very friendly in Korea. Then we set up the Christmas tree with the family. So as you can see, 2016 has been awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. 2017 is gonna be a lot better. Happy New Year!